John Laval here on how to bend limbs on your uh, bonsai trees. Uh, I did this video before, but <laughs> I, I happened to watch the video. And it looks like I was falling asleep through the whole thing, so I decided maybe I should throw it out there again. And uh, maybe whoever's looking at the thing might consider watching the whole thing. So, anyways. Uh, uh, here's the uh, my uh, what I'm doing here is if you'll notice here uh, this is uh, five millimeter wire now uh, I'll show it to you again don't worry uh, five millimeter wire if I don't if you're working with uh, five millimeter it is one bugger to bend I can't even barely bend it just as a wire let alone loop it around tightly around a a limb that's uh, you know five sixteenths of an inch thick or something or three eighths is just tiny smaller than my f my little finger and uh, I'm required to get this wire in there and we'll go around and around and believe me you're looking at hours and getting tools in there I've actually broke limbs off trying to do it and uh, uh, my bonsai just hates me if I uh, if I'm gonna do this <laughs> so uh, anyways uh, I figured you know I can barely bend the wire in my hand, so I decided uh, I need to look at something new here. This is nuts, because I got a lot of limbs here to bend this. This is going to take like days and days to do this, and I'm not going to have any success anyway. So what I did was uh, I decided I wasn't going to loop it around anymore. Forget that. Uh, so what I did is I take my wire and uh, with some tools if I have to, because as I said, five millimeters is murder to bend. And I bend it into the shape that I want. Let's say it's a U-turn, whatever it is I want to do with it. I bend it and cut it off. Okay. And I can do this at my desk. I don't have to beat me a tree. I get all my wires ready, all the shapes I want. They may all be the same or they might be different or whatever. And then I go out there and I uh, put the, uh, the wire up against uh, just the end of the branch where I want to start this thing. And I use a pole tie, and I, go, and I tighten the wire up against the pole tie. Then I take the, uh, the limb, and I go down the wire, and wherever the wire starts to bend, I start to bend the limb with it. And I lay, I put another pole tie in there. Wherever the wherever a branch is bending, you want to get as many pole ties as you can in there, so to make sure that it, it adheres to the wire. And I'll show you what I got here. Okay, so this here is a wire. And if you'll notice on there, oh my god, this here, okay. <laughs> here we go. Well, how do I do this? I can't even see there. You'll notice here, here's here's a limb, uh, a small limb. And it's, uh, and these are little pole ties, these little red things, you can see them here. I left them long so you'd be able to see them. But anyways, so we'll start right here. This is the limb here, and I put it against the, uh, the uh, wire here and I put a pole tie on so it's nailed down to the side here and then it starts to curve here and I put a pole tie here in the curve and I put one here so it's now uh, addressing the uh, basically marrying itself to the uh, the wire and I go along here and uh, I just keep putting pole ties on whenever there's a curve and uh, anytime it's changing direction you want to make sure that uh, the uh, the limb is staying with the wire, and uh, I left this long. This is of no consequence, uh, and just it's for demonstration purposes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then uh, you want to leave it for like a year or two years. Uh, and the beauty of this thing is very very easy to work for you. Like the tree isn't going to hate you now, and uh, very very quick. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This takes minutes to do as opposed to hours and hours just doing one limb. And uh, you can leave the tabs long if you want. You can just snip them, snip the tails off. And the other thing is, is uh, when you go to remove this thing, you're not uncoiling wire around a branch because your bonsai will hate that part too. What I do is take a little pair of cutters and snip, 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 cut all the uh, pull ties off, and the wire just drops off. And 100% uh, success. Uh, I use this. Uh, this whole idea of coiling wire, I will never do it again. Uh, this is also much cheaper because you're going from 
basically from point A to point B in a direction where if you're coiling you're, you're losing a lot of material in the coil so you're losing like five to ten times as much depending on how long you're going down to the uh, limb so you're losing five to ten much five to ten times as uh, much uh, wire is used to coil as opposed to this being more direct in its direction there is no coiling it's just from point A to point B in whatever shape you want and you can this the nice thing see coiling basically all you can do with coiling is kind of like bend it a bit this thing here you can tie this thing and not you can do anything you want and then just bring the limb around with it and uh, you can get uh, like bonsais right now are at a point of that's basically in the exotic uh, type of bonsai where you're modifying uh, the direction of limbs and stuff uh, for the purpose of uh, making the thing uh, kind of uh, draws attention to it and uh, uh, this thing here, uh, who knows where we could get with it? We could get pretty weird uh, with uh, limbs using it that method. And uh, anyways, that's what I want to tell you about. Uh, let me give it a try. You know, I mean, you got the wire there. Anyways, grab a couple pole ties and uh, see if you're not happy doing it that way. But you're gonna find out once you've done it, you'll probably never go back to the other method. See ya.